Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do a video on how to take coin images using an Android phone. I have an LG. It doesn't have the best camera I noticed, but it'll help you. Most, most phones are pretty similar. You can find the settings, you can learn how to crop. If you use keep your hands off approach, you can learn how to focus. Um, all you need is something to put the, the phone on and hold it steady and put your coin. Uh, lighting can be a factor. Um, I'll show you about that a little bit too. We'll try to make it really quick, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm using an LG phone and I'm going to try to keep it focused here. One thing about books, you've, you've got to balance your phone. I'm going to click on my camera and as you can see I've got the coin in a field of view here. Now I'm going to try to focus as best I can. I think that's about right. You're going to see a lot of things on the screen. But the main important thing is, is I've got lighting coming from the top. I don't have a, a lamp or anything. So this coin here is, is struck like a proof. So what I want to do is, is I want to get it to where I'm getting some darkness in the fields. Now I can play with it. I can hold my camera a little bit if I want to move it out and try to get, you know, some type of uh, darkness in the background. I'm actually using the camera. and I got not too bad a focus on it and that's going to be good enough for most pictures and most groups and I can click that take the picture and then I can if I wanted to have a little more light on it a little more reflection and press on it and click now one thing about it after you get your pictures I'm, I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to also show you about a slab, how to do a slab. I'm using Cherry Picker's Guide. <laughs> you can use any books you want, it doesn't matter what books it is. One of the problems you're going to find uh, with uh, the slabs is going to be a reflection of light. Uh, let's get that focused in. We're focusing. Sometimes you have to put more books on and get a little bit above. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here on this one. Um, it's probably focused okay, but I got a little bit of reflection. Now, if I wanted to, I can actually take a book and cover up that reflection if I wanted. I can straighten it up here. And I can actually. And you can also pinch, pinch it larger. It won't go any smaller because it's pretty much filling the field of view up on that one. So I can take, take that picture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put... Because a lot of times if you've got a little bit of reflection on your camera, you can use another object. And I'll show you. I'm going to do it again here. Let me straighten up the slab. And this shows a little bit more light. And what I'll do, right there. i got it focused in. That's probably going to be optimum focus for this. I know reflections on it. Now, the coin is a little dark. And one of the things you can do to, to eliminate that is to put it just to the side of the light source when you're taking your picture. And go ahead and use your cover. Sometimes that doesn't work completely, so then if you use your uh, hand it creates a causes the white balance to adjust so the coins a little brighter that was not focused in we'll focus it in there we go now we're kind of getting somewhere with it uh, the coin looking a little more like it's supposed to now what we want to do is is that's just the first part when you're taking pictures of coins I noticed that was a little off there um, I moved it mainly because of that lighting the reflection if you're using uh, some type of desk lamp and I'm gonna go ahead and and pause it here and uh, get the desk lamp I am gonna want you to see how that works too okay I'm back here now okay what I'm using is fluorescent lighting okay and the problem when you're using stationary lighting that before the pictures I was taking I was using lighting uh, from the ceiling. We have a drop ceiling here and it has fluorescent lighting installed. 
and it makes it a little bit different. Um, here, when you're trying to do light sources, it's probably best to have more than one uh, light source. Here, I've pretty much got it to where I want it. I can focus it. Um, I'll show you a picture or of, of, of the um, light that I'm using here. Maybe that'll help everybody out. You can use um, some things to help adjust white balance when you're you can see you can change the white balance it'll try to focus it in you can use a book you can use a piece of paper you can use filters I know there's other ways of doing this that's more professional but I'm trying to do this with objects that you can find laying around your house um, I think that's a little bit better you're going out and spending a bunch of money on filters and trying to do uh, different things with it uh, if you feel like doing that and I mean that's fine um, now this right here it's not going to hurt too much if I have uh, a little bit of the lamp light reflecting in the slab and you can still read the slab make sure it's focused in that's yeah, and that's most for most part unless you've got someone I, I this going to be perfect this is be a good enough picture for most people and obviously you'll turn it over and you'll take the and really since you want the coin to be upright and then you don't have to worry about flipping it and all that stuff um, we'll do it that way. So we have the front and back. Now, what I want to do is I want to go back, and on my phone, um, you want to go to the gallery. Okay, and this is an important part of taking pictures. When you are taking pictures, sometimes you got to click somewhere on your phone, and you'll have settings. Sometimes they're what they call the little three dots there and it shows things like cropping. So let's hit crop and sometimes you just have to kind of search for it but it'll be there. Sometimes you gotta to touch it and you want to come in and you want to crop it. Crop it as close as you can. Hit OK and I'll pretty much save the coin for you so that when you do show it in a group I mean you've got some details. It's not perfect it's not you know a Canon Rebel that I use but that's good enough to see most details on a coin that's important then we'll go to the same thing with the slabs here, or the slab coin. Um, we'll go touch it up here, and here comes the crop. And we can move the crop over. iPhones are, are a little different, but they're all, they all have basically the same uh, type of settings and abilities. Some are better than others at it. So there we go, we have that one saved. Um, now we want to go back to another uh, coin and what I want to show you on this one is it's a little out of focus so let's go to another one this one here is a little better so we'll touch what we want to touch here and we want to drop down it shows copy rotate I want to rotate so you hit the rotate I want to rotate it left and I want to do it again so rotate it left again and center it or at least go in a crop and I'll move the crop down it's pretty close to the size it needs to be and that will start saving it for me and I crop picture and as you can see it's a little dark in some areas but most people can see that the coin halfway decent I could have done a little better on the focus on it but taking coin pictures is trial and error you're never going to be exactly perfect uh, sometimes you get a real good picture um, but you know if you're crunched for a little bit of time you're just trying to get some pictures up in the groups uh, this is a perfect way of doing it everybody has a phone and another thing I want to show when you've got a coin in a holder it's it is hard let me go to another picture a little little more focused picture let me see that one's out of focus Sometimes you just tap the screen somewhere just to find what you need to find. But it's like this one here. I think this is pretty close. This is just focused. You can't really see a lot of details in the other picture. So I'm going to tap up here. I'm going to go to crop. Okay. This is what I see a lot. You want to crop the coin itself. Just if you want to show better details of the coin. And the reason is is once you crop it, the the phone and your software and when you put it up on Facebook it automatically makes that picture larger in a field of view. As you can see the lines now 
you can see more details on the coin. People can say, oh yeah, I see why it's clean. But even though it has the lines on it, it's still it's not a bad eye pill in this coin. So that's uh, the first video on taking coin images with using your cell phone. As you can see, it's really simple. It's it's not hard at all. It just takes a, just a little bit of practice, a couple punches here and there, learning your phone a little bit. But this should help you out, and I'm looking forward to seeing some better pictures in the groups. Thanks, and please subscribe to my channel if this helped you out. Please share it. Uh, I would love to have, see these shared a lot more and get more subscribers. You know, I already had a contest for 200 uh, subscribers, and next is 300. So I'm moving along, and I thank everybody who's watched, and everybody who's complimented, and everybody who's subscribed. And have a great day.